Recent updates reveal that the cats are still gunning for us, hot and heavy. The Kirathi have spread themselves out so they can search for us better, but the Nebula is also hampering their efforts as well. Analysis indicates that as long as we can avoid them, they will not reach us before we jump into Torgo. Although this is the case, both the Captain and Colonel Walker would like us to be out of the system quickly. We've dispersed our escorts farther from the Hermes. This way, they'll have a better detection range, so we'll have a more thorough picture of what's going down. Each camp ship is covering one part of the Hermes flank, and we're sending in several flights to keep them company, and to give general support. Alpha Wing will be Avatar and Sandman. You two will be working with the Jim Bowie instead of a warship. She's taken a position far from the battle group, and is currently monitoring the no man's land between the Hermes and the last known Kirathi positions. As before, you will take any orders from the scout much in the same way you take orders from me. Alpha Wing, you are cleared to launch. about women? I resent your tone. You know, when this war is over, Sand Dude, we all gonna have to put in a lot of hours to repopulate the human race. I guess I just have a stronger sense of duty than most people. I haven't really thought about the end of the war. What are you gonna do till then? Till then? Just keep in my morale. So if you're walking by my bunk and hear a female voice scream, yes, yes, it's just positive reinforcement. Avatar, you are hopeless. Cut the chatter, pilots. Keep a tight formation and look out for each other. Let's hope you get home alive. Proceed to next waypoint.
Proceed to next waypoint. Confed. I repeat, it is Confed. 
They aren't broadcasting an IFF signal. Must be crippled. Nail them. Captain Federation Light Cruiser, this is Thunderbolt Alpha 1. If you copy this message, please respond. It never responds. Captain Fed Light Cruiser, this is Thunderbolt Alpha 1. If you copy this message, please respond. Still no response. Alpha 2, move in closer. Get a scan on that ship. My scope's reading human life forms. We got survivors on board. We better put a rush on that. No power, no life support. Alpha One, can you get an ID on that ship? All right, hold on. Let me just take the camera off its normal <clears throat> girl's locker room setting. Scanning. Yeah, just shred it. I can't find a name anywhere. Roger that. Running the numbers through all known databases. Stand by. Thunderbolts. Can you hear us? This is Avatar. I'm getting a signal. Very weak, short range, no video uplink. There's not you. Roger that. I'm amplifying the reception for you guys. I'll be listening in and relaying to the Hermes. Alpha One. Start talking. We're copying you, Confed Light Cruiser. Please state your ship's name. TCS Challenger, LCA-237. Skippered by Captain O'Leary. One of the 23rd Independent Division, 7th Fleet. All right, who is this? Hospital Corbin, 3rd Class Shelby Rashid. Thunderbolts, what's your carrier and its location? Don't tell them. Might be a trick. He checked out, by the way. If he is, we says he is. Challenger disappeared without a trace two weeks ago. Alpha-1, proceed. Somewhere in this system. So, what's the story, Challenger? You look worse than a freshman girl after her first frat party. Intel pinpointed a transport carrying a special cargo and assigned us to capture it. We found the freighter in the Delia system and disabled it. We then docked with the ship and found the cargo all right. We were loading it onto the ship and were attacked by three destroyers. During the fighting, the cargo ruptured and our guys left it behind, escaping back to our ship. We undocked and fought our way out of the system. Our reactor finally blew out just as we jumped into Caliban. And that's when the crew started coming down. The symptoms. I knew it! Bioweapons! Alpha-1, proceed. Damn it. How many of your crew were exposed? We quarantined the ship, but whatever we got is airborne and it spreads fast. Only a handful of us escaped infection long enough to put on biomassive suits. The rest? They die a slow painful death. They suffered every second. This virus had a 100% mortality rate on us. Captain O'Leary, the officers, the chiefs, all of the crew. Only 10 of us are not infected. I'm transmitting an information packet over to you guys. This has records of the infection, symptoms, works, everything about the virus. We reported it to the end. I can receive. Let them know the Hermes is launching hotel wing and a shuttle with a biocontainment crew. All right, we're on it. Just hang tight, Rashid, okay? Thank God. You've got to make sure we're okay first. This virus... It's into my friends. I couldn't release this even on my worst enemy. Jim Bowie, what are we going to do with the cruiser? Destroy it or try to salvage it? Too early to tell. The clock, Nicky. Up Kilrathi fighters. Alpha Wing, hold them off.
pilots are 10 minutes inbound. The shuttle gets here, then we'll figure it out from there. Jack? Thank <laughs> you. 
transport link established. Proceed to next waypoint. Carrier breathing down your necks? Don't worry about us. I'm sure I'll think up something. You heard the man, Sand Dude. Let's head back to the barn. Proceed to next waypoint. DCS armies. I heard it all over the comms, Lieutenant. What a terrible thing that happened. What you did in the end is an order I don't know if I could follow. But whatever happened, they are finally at peace now. You are cleared for landing. I've been able to convince Captain Moran and Colonel Walker that, as an ONI officer, I should debrief you first before they begin their inquiry. I'll get to the point. First off, Lieutenant Alistair and Lieutenant Markham. You two obeyed my orders without question, even under very disturbing and troubling circumstances. I've already vouched for you two up your chain of command. Second, you will keep your mouth shut about what happened. This entire incident is on a need-to-know basis, and there's not any more people out there who need to know. I'm sure Scuttlebutt will spread around the ship, but when you're confronted by your peers, you will neither confirm nor deny. I've already had your flight recorders purged. Off the record, though, you already know about the bioweapon attack on Lakanda, so I'm sure you two can figure out what happened to the Challenger. Next off, don't put much concern on that carrier group you encountered. By means that I will not reveal, two of their destroyers are now gone, and the carrier is crippled. The other ships are slowing down to tend to their mothership, and they lost our trail in the process. I wouldn't want to be that kitty carrier captain once he reports to his superior that he lost us. So, for now, the Hermes is in the clear. That about does it. It's time for you to go see Colonel Walker. They might be a bit hard on you two. After all, it's not every day that a pilot destroys a friendly cruiser. Just remember this. You followed my orders. You did well, and you did right, and nothing they can say will change that. 